All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, it's been a few days. Sorry about that. I was helping my brother move. Uh, I'm Rocket Wolf, and uh, welcome back to the channel. We're going to be getting into a little bit of emulation, and uh, I figured what's the best way to start that and then to start with some tutorials to set it up. All right, guys. So right now we're at the desktop in desktop mode on the on the deck itself. Right here is your little shop. This is your bread and butter for the emulators. The shop open real quick. All right, guys. Now that we're in the app store and it's loaded up, you're gonna go to applications. games emulators and this is where you're gonna tickle your fancy depending on what you're looking for today we're gonna start with what I'm most familiar with and that's Dolphin that's GameCube and Wii games in case you are curious so you'll click install here I already have it installed and if you ever need to open it up you go down here you can click on all your applications and don't confuse it with the dolphin I'm it's kind of confusing there's also a dolphin application and file browser all applications Go down to Dolphin. See, the file manager is right next to it. The one with the Dolphin. Alright, it's booted up. And you're going to have to find your own ROMs. These are all games that I own. I definitely would not pirate. I don't endorse that by any means. I just, this is for educational purposes, guys. I'm just trying to help everyone else out and figure out how to get this stuff set up like I had to. Alright, so the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to get into the controller. Because out of the box, this experience is not going to work. Alright guys, now that we're in the controller settings, we're going to go over to configure. That's after. Yeah, I would just leave that at standard. And then I had my Xbox controller set up before, as you can see. Let's see. This is, I believe, set up as a 360 pad. I have it set up as, yep. So every button here, I mean, you need to know your game GameCube controller layout. I would just look up an image on, on uh, Google. And then you select your button. Obviously, the A button, you can select as A or B, depending on how you like it. And then just go through all of these. And then when you're done, you're going to close this out. I would save it, though. I would definitely save first. You can save your presets up here. I saved, I just saved mine as the deck. And then at any point in time, like say you change your controller, you can just come back to that 360 pad and load your deck, your, your deck layout. Mine's already loaded. All right, so we'll close this out. And at this point in time, this is where you gotta find your emulation, emulated games. And then whenever you get that all taken care of, you'll come back. I will say, if the game is in a zip file, sometimes it's finicky and the file system won't find it. And I've also found that the games run better on the actual internal storage. That's up to you totally. It's playable both ways. I guess it's really in like what kind of performance you want. So you'll go here to open and then you can like set you can select your stuff. I have my ROMs just in here. Right, let's just pick one out and then you'll click your game here let's do Metroid we haven't did that yet and then you just click open oh no nope. we don't hit open we hit play sorry about that and 
will boot right up on your screen. And if you did everything correctly, all of your buttons should work just fine. The sound does not work out of the box. I will tell you that now. You have to enable the sound yourself. We'll show you how to do that right now. Alright guys, let's talk sound. So, in order to enable the sound, you're going to go up top here, and you're going to go to the Options tab, Audio Settings, and then you're going to select this first one here, DSP HLE Recommended. And then now your sound should work. Alright guys, and if everything's set up properly with your controller, you should be able to just click Start and get it going. This is the first time I've opened this up with the upscaler, so it should be interesting to see how it plays. Okay. Most games keep a very steady 60. Alright guys, well that about does it here. We got GameCube running. I'm really happy with the way it looks. And just in case you guys are curious, real quick here, let me show you guys how to save the game. So at any point in time, you can minimize your screen and then go over here, do emulation, 
save state, save state to file. I save mine on the desktop personally. And we'll call this the desktop. Or we'll call this, I'm sorry. We'll call this Metroid save. Save. Now we can close the game out. And then we'll be able to load it back up with the save state. Now if we just go back to emulation. We can load our state. There's the Metroid save. And it's right back where it was.